I'm gonna be making my family today my pizza casserole. This is actually one of the first recipes I made when my husband and I got married, and I used it when my kids were little because sometimes they can be a little picky, but my kids really, really love this recipe. So I'm gonna share this recipe with you. It's gonna be a favorite in your family, I guarantee. We are Luke and Heather Bell, and we have eight children, seven of them we adopted, and this is Just the Bell's 10. So I have my cooked noodles. I actually had to cook some more noodles because this wasn't enough. I'm making one for us, and then my son Gideon lost a friend, well, it's a month ago, um, to suicide, and so I signed up to take them a meal um, tomorrow. So I have my chopped ham, pepperoni, I have my shredded um, Colby Monterey and mozzarella cheese. I have my spaghetti sauces. And then I have um, sliced cheese that I like to put on the bottom just to kind of form like a fake crust. So I'm just waiting for these noodles to get done here. They look like they're pretty good. So I'm just gonna throw them in here really fast. And then we're gonna start um, making the casseroles. It's so easy. Like I had said, this is so, whoo, smoke. Well, not smoke, I guess, steam. This is one that is one of the first things I made. Um, I really couldn't really, really cook, actually, when me and my husband first got married. Whew, my glasses. And um, I, would, I grabbed a cookbook that I got from one of my husband's aunts, and it was a country cookbook. And it was amazing. I made so many things. Like, every day I was cooking these really big meals because I had never cooked before. I mean, like, honestly, I never cooked before. My mom cooked for us, and... I was just so busy going to school full time, working full time. I mean, I could make cookies and stuff, but I was nothing like I am today. And so um, I was making all these wonderful meals and my husband's like, you know, you don't have to cook like this every, I saw one, there we go. You don't have to cook like this every day. And I'm like, oh good, because I am so tired. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up and add the sauce to it. So I will be right back. In just a second, I'm gonna clean up my area a little bit so I can get cooking. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so I have my noodles here mixed all up. Now I'm gonna add my two jars of spaghetti sauce. I have extra just in case I need more. All right, I'm just gonna stir this up. We'll see if this works. I might have to add more to it. I like it really saucy. All right, I'm gonna add another one to this. I like to add spaghetti or buy spaghetti sauce that doesn't have any sugar added. Ah! I know that spaghetti sauce has sugar in it because of the tomatoes, but I like to make sure I'm not adding anything else. Oh, that looks really good. All right. Now let me just get these extras in here. All right. I don't like to waste food. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna throw these away and I'll be right back. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer it. So I'm gonna grab my dishes out here. I like to put a little sauce on the bottom so it doesn't stick. Yes. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Sorry, hold on just a second here. Okay. All right, so like I said, I like to add some sauce to the bottom so it doesn't stick. There we go. Let me spread this out. Let's add a little bit more. I'm just gonna use it all. I'm making two anyway. Okay, spread this out. It just keeps the noodles and the cheese from sticking. All right, my kids are outside picking up garbage. We have a big graduation coming up, so. All right. Now I'm gonna put a layer of the cheese on the bottom, like I said, to just make like a fake crust. So when you cut it, there's something kind of at the bottom to stick to it. So we'll add this. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right. I actually have a different kinds of cheeses that I brought, so you can do whatever kind you want. I like to use all kinds. 
I just really love cheese, honestly. I am a cheese guru. I think I like don't like that cheese that smells like feet though. I don't know what that is. I can't remember that kind of cheese. Okay. So now we're gonna put a layer of um, the noodles on top. Let's do the big one first. You don't want it super thick because you're gonna layer it a couple times. So I can't hardly believe it's quiet right now. All right, that looks good. Let me put a little bit on this other one here just to cover it. All right, and now I'm gonna put a layer of cheese. Cheese is kind of like a binder. It kind of keeps it together, just like egg. Egg is meant to, egg, egg is meant to bind too. All right, there we go. Just enough to cover the bottom. All right, now we're gonna do a layer of pepperoni. Oh, I hear my son, the music. He's my music guy. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna put ham on it too. Normally I just do pepperoni, but I wanna try some different meats. Can you guys hear him? He's, he jams out his music. I was hoping to finish this before the craziness came in, but all right. Get a little bit more on this one. He likes really like old fashioned music, like Johnny Cash, you know, song, uh, uh, songs from the 50s, 60s, 70s. He really does like a wide variety of music. All right, a little bit more over here. Now I'm gonna mix in some ham with this. <laughs> it's so funny, hey? I don't know what it is, but it sounds great. All right, so ham, just sporadic throughout it. I got kids yelling in the back, picking up garbage. I got my son blasting his radio. Normally there's no, um, no, it's always noisy, always. All right, so now we're gonna do another layer of the noodles on top. Just kind of mix them up here, just to make sure I have enough. I'm gonna do both. I got noodles flying. All my kids love this, like love this. This is one of their favorites. Whenever I make this, my kids eat. My, I mean, kids actually aren't really picky. But you know, my David, if anybody's picky, it's kind of my David. He is kind of the picky one. He, he. well, when he worked at Culver's, he, I come home and I make this beautiful dinner and my son, David, I already ate mom. And I'm like, what? All right, that looks good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And I'm gonna, I know I'm picking these off the counter because I want, don't wanna lose any noodles here. All right. And I, and whenever I do things for anybody, I like to make sure theirs is better. I want to put more stuff on it. All right, so now we're going to do just a light layer of cheese on it. All right. I'm kind of in a hurry for time because I waited too long to make dinner. So I'm sorry if it seems like I'm in robot mode. All right. Now a layer of pepperoni. that you were David. I am making a meal for your, for Jordan's family and for ours. Jordan, Demay's family, mm -hmm. why? I signed up for the third. Whose truck's over there? I, I think that's um, Ben's. Oh yeah, Ben got a new truck, I forget. Yeah. 
Is he chicken fajitas? No steak. You got to do that too, but you have to wait for me to get this meal done. And then we're going to... Sushi. Dad cooks tacos. Mom's birthday. Dad's cooking tacos on your birthday. What month is this? For May? Yep. Everybody's got to pick two days that what you want me to make. And then the third day you put your name down and put what you're going to make. You pick tacos for your birthday? <laughs> is that Brendan? Did you pick tacos for your birthday? You did? Yeah. That's what you want that to make? I would like, yeah. All right, so now another layer of ham on top of the pepperoni. You turning 51, Mom? I'm turning 51. I look, I know I'm old, I'm dying. Are you on live? I'm, I'm not on live, but I'm on making a YouTube. Mom's, Mom's All right, turning, now Mom's we're gonna top it off. The sixth. Well, I knew it was the sixth, but Mom's turning 51. Now I'm gonna top it off with cheese. My boys just came in. Oh, I get to pick my color. Orange. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. No, no, don't do anything yet. Do anything. I have to video it and don't touch anything. Tomorrow's the third. Just can you, relax. Can you get my stuff for tomorrow if, uh, if I do something? I can, yes. But give me a second to get this going before you guys do that. I'm orange, Brandon. Orange. Look at your days. My day is orange. No, I mean, look at the days you want to do it. Okay, all right, so this is all done. I only want to do it now I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 for about probably 30 to 40 minutes. Um, everything's kind of cooked already, so I'm going to do that, and I'll come back when it's all cooked and ready to be served. Okay, so I just pulled it out. It actually looks really, really good. Woo, look at that, hey? Isn't that nice? Um, I made two of them, so this one's going to be for us because, you know, we have 10 people. And then I got the other one made right here for um, Jordan's family. So I'll be shipping that out to them tomorrow. So dinner is served, super easy. I hope you like it.